guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a high school makeup look this is something that I literally wore in high school I even use a lot of the products that I used when I was in high school if you are new to my channel my name is Kayla I am a college student so that's why I keep saying like when I was in high school I know I look like I'm still in high school but like we're not going to discuss that because I get that every day when I'm at work so like we're just gonna you know I know I look young, but I am 20. But anyways, if you are new to my channel or, you know, a reoccurring person that hasn't already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can be one of the first people to see my videos and join our awesome fam. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see how to do this nice, natural, and like accentuating your own features, high school makeup look that's really quick and easy, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start, I'm just going to pull my hair back because it makes things a lot easier when I can just see my whole canvas. I'm going to start off with my um, brows first. I learned this from Desi Perkins. I will link her channel if you don't know. I'm sure you know. She's like incredible. But um, she said that you should definitely start with your brows first because it just gives you a blank canvas. You don't have any foundation covering them and it just is easier to get to your brows to make them look as good as possible and in high school I wanted to make sure my brows look good even though they were rough the first couple years I like didn't know how to shape them they're a little rough right now because I'm trying to reshape them so I'm letting them grow out a little bit so if you see some stray hairs it's not me being ratchet like it's literally just me trying to let them grow out just a little bit so I can reshape them to look even better but today I'm going to be using the NYX micro brow pencil and I just recently got this um it's something that I had been looking for. I wanted to try different brow things. I absolutely love my brow definer from Anastasia, but I just wanted to try something new. Just, you know, see how other products work so you don't be complacent and use the same things. Also, like my e.l.f. one, I use a lot too, but just thought I would use this one. It was only $10. And I went to Ulta yesterday with my best friend Ruth, so if you're watching this, shout out to you, girl. But I just wanted to see how this works so I'm just shaping my brows if you guys want like a detailed brow tutorial I can do that for you guys I have like a shaping video that I can link down below on how to like shape your brows when you're like tweezing them and everything so if you want to take a look at that you can but I'm just gonna shape them here so far I really like this product I think it's definitely a dupe for the brow definer the only thing is is that it's just the pencil it doesn't have like the triangle shape that you would get but I like it so far all right so now that my brows are completed I actually had a disaster with my foundation it is the true match foundation that I use I use this in high school a lot and I still use it to this day it's clearly in the cap right now because it just exploded in my makeup bag. I had it in my makeup bag um, from traveling and it exploded so a lot of it is in the cap so I just grabbed the cap because my makeup bag's a hot mess and I had to um, clean it all out because half my products had True Match on it so you know that's cool but it's in the cap now but that's you know, you guys know what the product looks like. I use it all the time on my channel. If you really want to know what it looks like, I have a link down below of all the products I use in this video. But currently, I'm like trying not to freak out because it messed up a lot of my makeup. And by the way, I'm using my Beauty Blender. I did not have this in high school until senior year. And it saved me a lot of time and a lot of effort using this. But, um... I used my like flat top angled kabuki from what, what brand is that oh my god from Sigma the Sigma brush also the thing with using or doing your brows before you do your foundation just make sure you don't cover your brows and like make it look like you don't have brows because now that it's already set you just have to be careful when you're applying your makeup I'm just gonna blend down my neck so many girls in my high school did not blend down their neck and they would have like this awful line right here especially the ones that would wear darker foundation and their skin tone and make them look tan it would look so bad and I was just like girl like please don't do that to yourself that's so embarrassing so don't make the mistake always blend down 
So now I'm just going to take my powder. I'm going to use a Real Techniques brush and just... Oh wait, I'm not setting. I'm stupid. I'm actually not using that right now. I'm going to use my NARS Creamy Con Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this is in the shade Amande. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm just going to apply this under my eyes because in high school, especially like junior and senior year, I decided that I was going to be a night owl and just not really go to bed at a decent time and then have to get up at like 6 in the morning or 6.30 to get ready for school. Especially senior year because I was like, oh, I'm driving. Like, it's fine. I don't have to catch the bus. But girlfriend, like, I was always tired. So using concealer under my eyes was a godsend. I'm just going to use the corner of the beauty blender and just buff it out. This saved my life. It made me look so much more awake than I actually was, which was a blessing. I'm just going to buff it out. Now I'm going to take my powder and just press it in under my eyes and then just kind of sweep it everywhere else. And of course you can put your concealer anywhere else that you may need it. I just really wanted to focus there. You can use it to highlight as well, but for now that's what I'm going to do. Next I'm going to take my, what is it called? My Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And we're just going to apply this on the lid. I swore by this in high school. I still swear by it now. Um, it's something that makes sure that my eyeshadow stays on all day for class. I did, like, my makeup was, like, the bomb in high school. Like, I put so much more effort into it than I do in, high, in college for, like, class. You'll be lucky if I really wear, I mean, sometimes I do wear makeup to class. I'll always have foundation on, but, like, for eyes and stuff, I always tried to opt for, like, something quick so that I could sleep longer because I definitely don't sleep as much in college. Like, I'm always up late in my classes, especially freshman year. I had 8 a.m.s, and that was not cool. So, you know, the longer I could sleep, the better. But in high school, I was like, your girl got to look fly. Like, I have to look so good. Or I wanted to look so good. Um, it wasn't even to impress anybody. It was literally just to impress myself because I really liked makeup. But next, I'm going to take Sable from the Laura Pro Palette. I swore by this in high school. This was my favorite palette of all time. Like, I was obsessed with it. And I'm going to take my Morphe Crease Brush. We're just going to apply a little bit in there. If you have a lighter skin tone than me and you want this to look natural or, like, more natural then dramatic then you want to take more of taupe than sable you want to lean more towards taupe and use that in your crease than sable for my darker skin girls this will be a color that won't be too dramatic in your eye but will give you a different crease so i'm just gonna apply it like kind of sloppy in here because we're gonna blend out everything is so blended in this look and it's just to highlight and accentuate your features. So what I did, I spent so much time blending. I think that's what made me late um, for school sometimes. I wasn't really like late late, but it was just like late parking and then I would get kind of run inside. But I never really got in trouble for being late. Hold on. Hello? Sorry, that was my father. So we're just going to blend, blend, blend and blend this out. Comment if you know where that's from. Blend, blend, blend. Um, but this is just going to be such an easy tutorial. Blend out the edges. You don't want it to look very harsh because this is for school. You're not trying to like, you're not trying to be too extra. So we're just going to blend this blending brush that saved my life. Now we're going to take, because my favorite color in this palette ran out, so I'm just going to opt for something similar. We're going to take Force of Nature from the Tartlet palette. This was obviously not out while I was in high school, but this is a color that's similar to the color in the Lark Pro palette. And we're just going to use that to pat on the lid. My dad said he's going to be here in 20 minutes, so I have to like go somewhat fast. And then I'm going to put it in the inner corner as well. I know now I like to use sparkly colors in the inner corner, but in high school that's what I did. Um, because I didn't want to, I used like the same color that I used on the lid there because I didn't want to um, 
make my look too dramatic. I wanted it to look like good, but not like, wow, this girl spent like an hour on her makeup. And my makeup looks like I would get done in about 15 minutes. So I'm just slowing it down now because I'm talking, explaining it for you guys. Um, but next, so that is the end of the shadow. I literally used two shadows on my lid um, because you don't want your look to be too dramatic. It is just, you know, going to school and everything. So the next thing that I like to use, I swore by this in high school and still swear by it today. It is the Maybelline Line Stiletto. So this is how I got my wing that I got so many compliments in on in high school. I use this product and basically you just want to do a thin line. You just want to do a thin line. And then start building on it towards the outer edge. So like that. Same thing for the other side. It's so hard for me to talk and say this. Or undo this, I mean. So that is the wing. Literally takes me two seconds. I mean, for some people it might take longer, just depending on what's going, you know, how long it takes you to do it, but it doesn't take me that long. So next, I'm just gonna use Buxom. This is what I used in high school as well. As you can see, a lot of my makeup hasn't changed. I mean, I've like gotten new bottles and stuff. That'd be gross if I still had it for like three, four years later, but I just still buy some of the same products. So I'm just gonna and I apologize for not showing um, the eyeshadow closer. I forgot to zoom in. Silly me being stupid. I make the ugliest faces trying to do my mascara. So my best friend Antonia would like, she took pride in her mascara. Like I would just whip on like a few coats, but she would like, make sure she is, was the one that got me into this mascara because it's so great she would do each individual lash like her lashes would look bomb but I just didn't have the patience so I would just do what I could like she would spend so much time I just didn't have that patience to do that it just took too long you know but if you are dedicated, then go right ahead, girl. Next, we're going to contour. In high school, I didn't really contour and highlight that much, but I did do some. So I'm going to start with my e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Duo. And I'm just going to take my Tarte Contour Brush. I'm just going to do a light contour. Nothing too dramatic. So you're just going to do the hollows of your cheeks and then I like to do like the temple area a little bit of my forehead because I have a big forehead and I wanted to like mask it although in high school I wore my hair up one time like I'm telling you I was the girliest girl ever I dressed up like you see me now in college if you saw me now in college you wouldn't think I was the same person it's not that I like bum it all the time in college but I just don't um wear as like try as hard as I did in high school but you know it's fine so now I'm going to take a new product that I finally picked up it's been forever I've been like stargazing at it forever but it is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey so here I'll like open it for you so you can actually see what the color looks like so look how beautiful this is. This is such a beautiful color. It looks good on all skin tones. We're just going to use a little bit of it because we don't want our glow to be too much in high school. But, you know, highlighting, I didn't really do that much in high school. But it's in now, so I'm assuming that girls will do it now. Okay, sorry about that. My camera ran out of storage yet again. It always seems to happen, but, you know, it's all good. So basically, I was just highlighting my face with this Laura Geller it's so pretty and it's like a nice color that like you can build on so if you don't want a blinding a blinding highlight then you can make it subtle so I really like this and I'm so glad I finally got it so it just gives that nice natural glow and I'm not gonna build on it too much because we want this look to look 
you know, kind of natural. Or like, just so like it's accentuating your features that you already have. So for lips, I'm going to use this Revlon Color Burst Matte Lip Balm and it is in the shade Sultry. Please excuse my ratchet fingernails. I know I need to get them done. I just haven't had time. I've been working a lot and stuff, so don't talk about me, girl. So this is a nice pink. Um, I would wear to school. You can also just opt for like a clear gloss or, you know, any color that you want. I just really like this one. So this is the finished look. And then to add to it to set everything so that your makeup look lasts all day we're going to be using the Mario Badescu facial spray so I'm just going to spritz my face and just let that dry it's literally so refreshing you can get this um I got like the sample size so I just wanted to try it first I got it for five dollars at Ulta and it's two ounces I think the original one is like four ounces and it's only seven dollars so you might as well just buy the original one, but I just wanted to make sure I liked it first. And I love this. It smells great. It makes my face feel refreshed and sets on my makeup. So that is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know any new videos that you guys want to see, especially back-to-school videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!